Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. I have a very unique reading for you. I've been doing it on the other channel. So if you watch me on the other channel, then uh, you'll understand this reading. What I've done is I've put the planets out. Uh, full, I'm full, moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. And I'm asking the planets, what's on Putin's mind for Ukraine? And, you know, the, the planets know. The planets you know, it communicate. It, it's amazing. I mean, if you haven't seen it on the other channel, it's almost kind of spooky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Lenormand on top of the planets. And we're going to find out what's on Putin's mind. What can the planets expose to us that are on, Plut on Pluton's, Putin's mind? And then we're going to do a Zelensky's mind. All right. So let's see. What what do the cards want to tell us? So what what do they really want out of all of this? Do they want it to end? Do they want do they want to win? Um, do they want peace? Do they want you know to split the difference? Let's find out. Like what? Like how long is this going to drag on? I don't think Putin has a reverse switch. I don't think he'll ever give up. Um, but we don't know. Maybe he's realized he's up against somebody. You have to remember. The Russians couldn't beat beat Afghanistan. And some of the countries that they conquered, like Georgia and whatnot, are all f free. I mean, they aren't that big and mighty. Wow, the sun on the moon. That's cool. That's cool. The stork on the Mercury. The tower on the Venus. So this is a long-standing um, partnership that goes way, way back. The star on the sun. This is very interesting. Mars, that's what I'm looking for. There may be a peace treaty. The bear on Jupiter. Well, what's Russia called? The bear. And what's on Saturn? The anchor. I'm the fox. Okay. So number one, Putin's an opportunist. Absolutely. The fox showed up here. He's just looking for an opportunity. He's um, uh, definitely an opportunist. I think that the sun on the moon is where you might see uh, an outburst from Putin. Uh, that is showing the full moon, right? When the sun is shining on the moon completely, it's a full moon. And what is the moon? Well, the moon is our emotions. It's also our mental stability and when the the thing with the moon, when it's the sun is shining on the moon and it looks full, it's an illusion that the moon has its own light. So I think we're either going to see some kind of emotional outburst, right? Because the sun bursts uh, and we're going to see a public emotional outburst. I don't think we're going to see an emotional plea for the war to end. I think we're going to see some kind of outburst and we're also going to see the illusion of the power of the of Russia, right? I think the sun is going to show us that um, Putin is an illusion. When the sun goes away, when the light is off of him, he's just a little old man. He's not this powerful Russian warrior that he he likes to make him out make himself out to be. So that's very interesting. I think, yeah, there's going to be some kind of emotional outburst. Now, Mercury, we have the stork on Mercury. Mercury is communications and intellect. And we have the stork on there, which is movement and change. So I think we're going to see a change of the way he communicates. And even this outburst would be a change, right? Even this outburst would be a change. So um, because he always seems so well put together, and I think that's going to be the changes. We're going to see a change in the way he communicates. Um, I think we're going to see a change, uh, some kind of movement, some kind of movement uh, that we're going to see. Now, the Venus is partnerships, love, all nice things. And we have the tower on here. And the tower in Lindemond is um, the past, right? Because, you know, big big castle towers they last and last and last and you know hundreds of years old so this is telling me this partnership between ukraine and russia has is thousands of years old or a thousand years old i think kiev is a thousand years old moscow same thing but they're they're 
they're brothers from a different mother, really, Ukraine and Russia. It's like saying um, German and Dutch. They're the same but different. And um, I think here this is showing us that this is, I'm almost getting like brothers fighting. Like this will, even if this war ends, there'll be another one just like it. I mean, down, down, I think even in World War II, Ukraine was fighting against Russia. Like, or was it because the Nazis took them over? Anyways, these are brothers that are just going to continue to fight forevermore. Um, and that's just what they do. Now, the star is on the sun. Putin thinks he's going to win this. He thinks he's the big king here. The star is the star. The star gets you to your goal. It's your guiding star. It's your lucky star. It's your guiding star is going to get you to your goal. And whatever his goal is, he believes he's going to get there. Whether that originally it was like to take the part of Ukraine that was actually that's mostly Russian people there, and that's because when the wall when the Berlin Wall fell and communism fell. Um, Ukraine wanted back its ancient um, borders. And unfortunately for Ukraine, those ancient borders didn't reflect what today's reality was. And there's a big se a section of ethnic Russians that got trapped in Ukraine. And, and Russia's saying, that's ours. I think it's that Crimea area. And they're saying, that's ours. And I think with this star here on the sun... I think Putin thinks he's going to be the one. He's going to be the shining star that finally gets that land back for the Russian people. And he's going to be the star and everyone's going to elevate him and his name will go down in history and his guiding stars is getting him to his goal. And he's the lucky one. And he actually probably this star on the sun, he probably thinks he, he's, he's really full of himself. And I don't think I have to tell you that with this moon, with this sun on this moon card. Now, Mars is conflict and aggressions and fights. And we have the letter on here. So I think, you know, this might be, you know, he's not going to do a peace treaty. Um, I think this is right. The letter is actually written words. Could be text, could be email. The messenger on here is the one where it's spoken word. Also, letter is intimate um, communications. You know, I send you a letter, you send me back a letter. Generally, the letter is not exposed as much as the messenger. The messenger would bring us a declaration, for example. But when it's uh, the letter is generally um, private conversations, sometimes they're exposed, like maybe in a court of law or, or eventually this is our peace treaty. But in the meantime, it's very quiet that they're doing this peace treaty. I think there's the problem is there's um, very little communications going on because this is the aggression and the, and the arguments and whatnot. I think, you know, and I'm almost getting that it's like crossing the T's and dotting the I's kind of thing. Um, you know, it's like little things like that that is stopping everything. Also, we have this change in communication. Um, so our movement in communication too. So one side might be trying to give a peace treaty and the other is not hearing of it. Um, and Putin is, is thinking, what's the sense? I mean, I'm just going to take it anyways, Right. Uh, and here on the Jupiter is, is money and love, or work, work, money and luck, <laughs> money and luck. And here's the bear. And what is Russia? The bear, the mama bear. Your efforts will bear fruit. And I think they, I think Putin believes that they are going to win this war. So why would he do a peace treaty? He thinks he's got the luck. He thinks he's got the money behind him. He's got the luck behind him. I think he he thinks he's going to win this. And actually the bear, the original meaning of the bear is fortune, but uh, fortune that people envy and uh, and may try and take away from you. It's a, it's attention that you don't want. And he, I, he may be worried that if he wins this war, that some of the other countries might come to Ukraine's aid and try and get it back. That could very easily happen. What And we're asking, how was Putin feeling about this? Now, under Saturn is his um, 
is his work and burden. Saturn is also the karma card and his work and his burdens is they are, they are stuck with his anchor here, almost at an inertia. It's almost like he wants this dam to break for it to end. But right now it's they're they're stuck and he's looking for an opportunity. He's a very, he's an opportunist. He's, he went into that war at the exact right time uh, when everybody was kind of asleep at the wheel. And now he's looking for another opportunity. Right now, I think there's a lot of inertia with that war. Um, you know, yeah, we hear, oh, this was bombed or that was bombed, but there's really no movement either way. And that's what an anchor does. It anchors a situation. And we're, when we're talking work and burdens, um, I'm, uh, the burden is nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. It's actually become a bit of a drag. And I think this is where we're going to see some kind of emotional outburst from him. And we're going to see some of his mask slip. I think we will. Uh, and it's, it might even be just to get things moving. It might be to get things moving. But he wants to be remembered for reclaiming that. Like he's, he's, he's not giving up at all. He's mama bear here. Uh, he's going to try different ways of communicating. He's going to try different movements. So maybe he's going to try from a different angle or something like that. Something's going to, he wants something to move, something to shift. And he just did that false flag with the um, nuclear uh, thing. He said, oh, there's a nuclear uh, power plant on fire. And the satellites all showed that there was actually burning tires uh, to make it look like it was on fire. So I don't know what he wanted from that. So things like that are going are going to change. So there you go. The sun showed it was a facade. It, the nuclear power plant wasn't on fire. The um, They shone the light on. It was the burning tires. So that kind of thing is absolutely going to happen to him more and more and more. Uh, but they want some kind of movement. They know they're kind of in an inertia over this but he really feels that russia is going to win he wants to be the star he wants to go down in history as remembering for winning this war for getting the land back for the russian people and he's he um he's not going to give up at all all right so let's do Zelensky. so like do we have a big roadblock here do we have a big mountain that nobody can move Let's see. How, what's Zelensky thinking? Where's Zelensky and all of that? Let's clear the cards. How, where's Zelensky thinking? What's Zelensky thinking? Now, I did a reading when the war first broke out. And I said, oh, this will be over fast. I said eight weeks. I thought Russia would just go in there and take what they want. And they caught, you know, Ukraine unawares. And then I said eight weeks, eight months, or an eight. <laughs> and here we are, tick tock, tick tock. But, you know, it still might end in an eight month, which is which is August, but it also, to me, October is an eighth month because it's Octo. Oh, October was the original eighth month. Uh, so it still might be August or October, or it could be the eighth of the month. I'm not giving up on that number eight. Um, but let's see uh, what... We know Putin is not giving up at all. No, that's uh, Mother Russia land. And uh, there's an inertia right now. Nothing's really moving forward. Nothing's moving backwards. We're going to see some things exposed. We're going to see Putin have some kind of emotional outburst. Um, but right now, there's no interest in any kind of peace treaty. This is a brother's war. And, and, and the thing is, is that's just what they do. They argue and fight and all right. Zelensky. What do the Lunderman cards? What's Zelensky thinking right now? Where is his head? Where do the planets want to tell us about Zelensky? Wow. Zelensky on the moon, the the uh the path, the two paths, the choices. He's got two things on his mind right now. Mercury, key. Yeah, he does rule the communications. Venus is, oh, the garden. That's interesting. I'll tell you what that means. Wow, on the sun is book. He has a secret plan that even we aren't allowed to know. On the Mars, the snake. 
on the Jupiter is the birds, and on Saturn is the ship. And the underlying is the man. Um, is this Zelensky or is this Putin? Let's find out. So under the moon, his emotional and what's on his mind, he's looking at two distinct paths right now. Um, I And I'm wondering if one of them is the peace treaty. Either we do the peace treaty or we go full on. Or, like, do we go into Russia? I saw something for the first time. Ukraine actually has attacked Russia. So maybe that was one of his choices. Peace treaty or we get on the offense. I don't know what the two choices are. And we're not being told. We're, we're being, with the book being closed, we're told it's none of our business. It's a secret. It's a secret. Now, the key, but he is definitely of, of, of really deeply looking at two different scenarios absolutely now the key is on mercury and that's communications and intellect he actually um he he controls the communication about this war about what's going on he unlocks things to tell the media he also locks things up that they aren't supposed to report on uh, so he has the key. He actually controls the media, the communication stream quite tightly. He allows, he opens doors for them to see things and he locks doors that they aren't supposed to see or aren't, are, aren't, are not to report on. He holds that very, very tightly. He's controlling the media right now. And when you think about it, he is like, you know, he everywhere he shows up, he's wearing fatigues or just that, you know, green t-shirt and, or, you know, he looks like he's, you know, the big general of the army kind of thing. And um, so he's, he's got a brand, right? He's got a brand and, you know, he controls his image very tightly, uh, controls, you know, uh, the other, the media outlets. I mean, look at how many media outlets um, jumped on the Ukraine ba bandwagon. Also wanted to preface here that my husband is Ukrainian and my grandmother was Ukrainian. And my grandfather was Ukrainian, so we have uh, lots of Ukrainian blood here, lots of Ukrainian family, and I'm in no way, uh, uh, in any way, uh, saying what's going, how the media is jumping on Ukraine is bad. There are some things that are going on I don't agree with, but um, let's get back to the reading. So he has the golden key, and he is controlling it. He controls what doors are open, he controls what doors get locked. So things that are not let out in public. Now here's Venus and here is the garden. So this is partnerships and love. He wants the world on his side. He wants NATO on his side, right? The garden is everything outside of your home. And in this case, because we're talking about a country, everything outside of Ukraine. So this is the garden. He wants friendly partnerships with everybody around Ukraine. And this is where part of the, his key is that he's controlling the narrative and uh, welcoming the, this partnership. And look at all the money he's gathered from all this partnership, from society in general, from, you know, all his neighbors. He's, he's asking for help, whether it's uh, weapons, um, uh, uh, planes, people. Here on the sun, we have the book, and the book is closed. And we always look on the book, the binding side of the book are things that are very tightly unknown. The book is, these are things that are, we don't know about, or we don't need to know about. And this is interesting when I said he controls the communication, he, clo he really, there's, he has a lot of secrets that uh, are not let out, especially to his partners. They don't know some of these secrets. And that's why I'm saying we are not to know what his two, what his decisions are made. He's not even sharing it with his NATO friends and, or the people that are the countries that are supporting him. He's keeping that under lock and key. And so then we look and see which way the book opens, what it's going towards. And this stuff here are, are things that are going to be discovered. So these things here will... he. 
will are unknown. We are not to know. We are not to know what is to be discovered. So we will never discover, other than a card reader, <laughs> that he's controlling the narrative quite tightly. All right, or that he's keeping secrets from some of his NATO uh, or some of the people, the society, and it might even be the people in Ukraine he's keeping secrets from. They might not even know the whole truth. They might not know what's coming with this decisions here. Now, Mars. Mars is aggression, and we have this snake on Mars. Now, the snake is a dark-haired woman, and we know that Putin has no hair, and we know that Zelensky has dark hair. Now, woman, that's, it's a person, and I don't think there's any dark-haired women involved in this war, so I'm going to go with that Zelensky. And we have seen him, you know, wear some women's clothes. So that's <laughs> no judgment. Don't care. No judgment. Um, so this is him being aggressive. And see how the snake is, is, uh, is facing this way and hissing at these birds. This is him being aggressive. So the snake is, is your conflict, is your aggressiveness. Um, you know, snakes can slither right by you and not cause any problems, but this snake is causing a lot of problems. And the thing with it, when a snake causes problems, it causes infinite problems because the snake can make a, a infinity symbol. So it's infinite problems. So this Zelensky has a lot of problems that he's created himself. And I think some of it has to do with this secrecy. Um, I think, you know, I think... There may be some people that would, but see the book is closed, that would have stories about him double crossing them or stabbing them in the back. And they're not allowed to say anything. And uh, this snake on Mars is, is really bad news. Really bad news. He, uh, he's um, always scheming. He's not an opportunist like the fox. He's always scheming, how can I attack without them seeing me? And he's not sharing that information with people that he should be. Uh, he might even be telling them something completely different. Oh, I need, you know, six billion for food for my for my people. And then he pockets half of it. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. Now, the birds, this is interesting. We almost see the birds fighting the snake. And the one card that can fight the snake is the uh, stork. And the stork didn't show up. But we do have birds here. Now, Jupiter is money and luck, and we have burden. Birds are burden, and and also they create. You know, when they're when they're squawking, they create a bit of a fuss. And so I think his burden is lack of money, and because he's constantly with his handout, constantly with his handout. Can you borrow me a billion? Can you borrow me a billion? And I think some countries said, oh, I thought you said by August you'd be able to start making payments on the interest. So the money part uh, is a lot on his mind, the burden of money and what he owes. And this might be part of the snake part here too. He may have no intentions of ever paying anybody back anything. And I would say, when I look at these cards, I'd say, yeah, he, it, you know, we ask what's on his mind. I, and I said at the beginning, I don't know if this is him or, or Putin. This is him. What's on his mind is him. How can he get out of this without paying any of this money back? Um, I think money is a big burden to him. And I think he, he's a snake. He's a snake. He's almost worse than an opportunist. You can see an opportunist coming, looking for an opportunity, uh, especially with keeping all these secrets and being of two minds. The Saturn. Now, Saturn is work and burdens and karma, and the ship is on there. So he wants his, his ship to come in. He thinks he's done enough to win this already, um, but he has not, obviously, and it's interesting, Putin had the anchor. So what does an anchor do to a ship? Stops it. 
I think he's thinking of some kind of travel or movement. And maybe Putin is the one who is holding the anchor and not allowing this to move any further. Uh, but this is under work and burden and karma with his ship coming in. Um, it, he's having difficulties having his ship come in, right? Uh, to win this. He's actually having a lot of difficulties to win this. And especially with the ship next to Jupiter and the ship on Saturn, we might see him flee and go into hiding when this is over. That might be his decision he's making. Where do I go? And maybe that's why it's a secret. Maybe he knows there's no winning this. And maybe he knows that... Um, they're going to be asking for money and he doesn't have it to pay. We might see him slither away, guys. We might see him slither away. This could be the big decision on his mind. This could be his big emotional decision. Where do I go? Where can I slither away to? Oh, look at that. The clock agrees with me. Wow. Well, there's your reading about what's going on with Putin and Zelensky. I thought I'd read on what's on their mind versus, um, you know, who's going to win the, the, the war. And look at this. What's on his mind is he's thinking of how is he, how is he going to get out of this mess? How is he going to slink away and not pay these people their money? And they don't see this coming at all. They do not see it coming at all because he's controlling the narrative. Yeah, that's him. He's looking. Wow. I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all from Zelensky. Putin's I, w I wasn't that surprised about. But that might be why Putin has emotional outbursts that maybe it's an emotional outburst of I won or see I told you or uh, maybe it's an emotional outburst of happiness. Maybe it's Putin that's holding his anchor, making it, making sure he doesn't go anywhere. See why you got to read these as couples? Because they, they do match up when you read them like this. So that's Zelensky and Putin. I'm shocked actually about Zelensky's. Am I or am I not? Anyways, I think this, I think maybe Putin, that's why he just wants to keep Slansky right where he is. Because he knows he'll take off the first minute he has. Have you signed up for the newsletter? It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, it, you know what? It's free. So go down to the link below, sign up, try it one, one Monday and uh, see what you think of it. And you can easily un one, one click unsubscribe. Uh, so go ahead and uh, have a look at it. And uh, while you're down there, maybe have a look at the magazine as well. Thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you. Please take good care. Don't forget to give this a like. That really helps me out a lot. And uh, we'll see you online. Bye for now.